then for the green flag to fly. And when it does, the lights will illuminate above the track. And I think a slight jump start already from Marcus Eriksson. He bumped forward. And uh, a good start from Raquelme. A good start also from Frines. And Frines alongside Raquelme already as Eriksson takes the lead down into turn one. And Evans trying to get around the outside of the Monegasque as well. And it's Evans that outbreaks himself, runs deep. And can Raquelme now get that lead back? It's Zams 1-2 still. The question marks over Eriksson and whether he jumped forward in his box before the lights went out. We ride on board with Robin Frines who runs wide. Safety car is out. Thank you, Jerome. So uh, how on earth do they put everybody into a formation here when we're running three wide through the corners? Oh, and that's Chacon. And Chacon's been uh, Did he smacked pretty hard. Really? I think he must have done, mate. Oh, and that is uh, Quaif Hobbs. Hobbs. So maybe it was Quaif Hobbs who stalled because Chacon was 23rd. Quaif Hobbs was 7th. And uh, Apt has picked up damage as well in that. So all drivers will have to come through should, the pit lane at the end of this. We should get line. offline right now. We should get offline. Uh, he's dropping all the stones on the line. Check on. Unhappy with what's happened. Clearly shaking his head, but uh, lucky he's okay. Start line crashes like that are never small ones. We didn't see exactly what happened. Quay Fobbs walking away he seems okay as well and if it was Chikon who did make contact with Quay Fobbs that's huge 23rd up to 7th he will have been pulling some speed he's continuing online so uh, Daniel out pulling the car around but it It's strange that both rears of the cars are damaged, so that's very strange. Uh, if someone, you know, crashes into someone that's stalled, then you would uh, you would have a car that's got front uh, very uh, front damage. But but it looks like it's both both the rears of the cars. So uh, it would be really interesting to see the replay of that. Back on board with Daniel Apt. My car is destroyed. Something was destroyed on the Set car. The car, yeah, my car is destroyed from Daniel App. First time we've had Team Radio in GP2. And uh, nice to see us uh, hearing from the drivers reporting back to the pits. Not much App could say other than my car is destroyed. Quave Hobbs, what bitter disappointment from him after such a great qualifying. And uh, I think he was intonating, sorry for the language, uh, that his car was uh, less than optimal at the back. So, uh, take a look at the crane. Ah, that is, it, you're right, it's so interesting to see the rears on both cars gone. It'd be really good to, uh, by now, to have uh, a replay of what, uh, what happened. And here we, here go. we go. Now watch on the right-hand side of your screen. There's Quaif Hobbs. So he's stalled. Now look at the back. So Chacon, oh my goodness, touches apt and rolls around and upside down. And then uh, rear ends. Against rear ends. So. Wow. So that was a big one. Now look at the back. Apt comes through. Here comes Chacon. Is squeezed with Bepton over the top. Lucky, lucky Kevin Chacon. He tries to go in a hole there that doesn't really exist, it seems like. Oh, it's an ever-decreasing gap, isn't it? Let's look. On the left-hand side, he comes in. He's got made a great start. Very little wheel spin. Goes to the right of his teammates. Well, no, oh, actually, actually, it's, uh, it's, not, it's, it's Daniel Apt. It's Daniel Apt to change his line. And... and now on board with Apt. But he probably doesn't see him as well, so difficult you know it's, it's an incident at the start difficult to say whose fault it is I think um... on board with Binder there's Quay Fobbs on the left so good start from Binder and there's Evans running deep allows both of the dams cars through it's Ericsson that leads from Raquel. We haven't seen uh, anything about a jump start yet. On board with Robin Frines. I was sure I saw a little bump from uh, yeah, Ericsson. Yeah, but really before, before, uh, long before oh, Evans, who's <laughs> going really deep. And that's a great start for him. That's what you want to do, you know, super soft. Awesome. Come back at the front. And they know it's really important. You see, you see Frines fighting it so much. 
They're trying to keep that position from Nasser. Replay from on the top. Quaife Hobbs stranded and left behind. Evans had a great run up the inside here, just too late on the brakes, ran too deep, but uh, didn't lock up. So lucky his tyres stay in good nick. But, but he's lost a so lot of many plays. Look at that.